So I'm recording in my pajamas. I decided, um, why not? I get to teach in my pajamas, something I've wanted to do for years. Uh, so this video is going to uh, talk about the poem, My Father's Song by Samuel J. Ortiz. Um, a little background on Ortiz. He is a contemporary uh, American poet. He is of Native American descent. He's uh, from, his family is um, from the Pueblo tribe. Um, he's an award-winning poet. He lives in the Southwest. Um, can't really think of anything else really to say about him off the top of my head. So let's just look at the poem. This is one of the poems Usually I try to post a link for you to actually hear the poet read his or her own work. That adds, I think, so much to the experience. Um, a lot of times when poets read their poetry, um, just the way they read it, where they pause, what they stress, what they accentuate, um, where they take breaths and things like that are not necessarily the way you would read it or the way you hear it in your head. So I think sometimes it's really interesting to um, you know, both read it yourself and then hear the way the poet himself or herself would, would read it. But, um, I can't find a recording of Ortiz reading his piece. So I will read it to you and then, um, give you a few thoughts. Okay. My father's song. Wanting to say things. I miss my father tonight. His voice, the slight catch, the depth from his thin chest, the tremble of emotion in something he had just said to his son, his song. We planted corn one spring in Aku. We planted several times, but this one particular time, I remember the soft, damp sand in my hand. My father had stopped at one point to show me an overturned furrow the plowshare had unearthed. The burrow nest of a mouse in the soft, moist sand. Very gently, he scooped the tiny pink animals into the palm of his hand and told me to touch them. We took them to the edge of the field and put them in the shade of a sand, moist clod. I remember the very softness of cool and warm sand and tiny, alive mice and my father saying things. So it opens up with wanting to say things and I miss my father tonight. So we know that the poet's father um, is, is no longer with him, but he's remembering this moment from his childhood with his father. Um, and it's such a you know tender moment. This is such a gentle poem. All the words in the poem are so very simple but yet so very evocative um you know there's all the textures of, of the sand being dry and moist warm and cool the tiny little furry mice in his hands the heat of the sun overhead um you know it's all very like i said it, it's a lot of these images that, that really allow you to feel um maybe not see as much as as feel in this in this poem um, and that's important. So first of all, it's a song. It says the, my father's song and it says wanting to say things. Uh, and so I think it's important, you know, to note that uh, in a lot of Native American um, tribes that oral tradition is the most important thing. And oral tradition is passed from the elders to the young. Um, and then someday they'll pass those same lessons and, and wisdom on to their children. So, um, you know, how do you pass on something to, to a child that they'll remember like this? Because, you know, Ortiz is a man, a grown man at this time, and he still remembers this one small time he spent with his father planting corn and, and with the mice. He remembers it so vividly that he could still feel the sand and this and feel the heat and imagine the tiny mice in his hands. Um, and so how do you as a parent pass on wisdom and lessons that will stay with your children? Um, and I think the answer is in exactly what Ortiz's father did. He didn't just tell him, you know, be kind to all creatures or, you know, even the smallest mice deserve compassion or mercy. You know, I think telling uh, isn't such a lasting way of teaching a lesson, but he showed him. 
Um, so again, if you can kind of set the scene, imagine you're out in the hot sun planting corn. You just want to get this job done. It's a long, hot, tedious, backbreaking job. And as you're going across the field, you come across a little nest of baby mice. Um, the tempting thing is just leave them there, you know, let them fend for themselves. They might get plowed over, but that's, that's nature and it's hot and you want to be finished. Uh, but the father stops the, his work. He takes his son and, uh, you know, the father doesn't just move the mice as, on his own. He makes sure that the son is aware of what he's doing and why he's doing it. Um, and he asks his son actually touch the mice and feel the earth because again, all those tactile images um, create this, this actual memory that he'll hold with him for the rest of his life. So they tenderly pick up the mice and take the time to move them to the side of the field where they won't be plowed over, you know, where they'll be safe and then go back to their work. Um, and again, they're little tiny field mice and in the grand scheme of things, it's so tempting to just get on with your day and, and let the mice fend for themselves or what happens happen. Uh, but the father knows that not only is it important for him to save the mice, but it's important for his son to know that he is taking the time to save the mice and to feel the mice and to remember the lesson that goes along with saving these mice and, and um, you know, the interconnectedness of the father and the son and the mice and the earth, uh, you know, how every, the corn that will be planted there, everything about this scene is connected. We're connected to the sun and the earth and other living things. Um, and all of that is a part of the lesson and the memory that Ortiz holds uh, with him to this day. And we said the language is very simple, um, soft, warm, cool, moist, uh, you know, words that you certainly don't need a dictionary or thesaurus to make sense of. Um, and again, you know, that how else would you teach a child but with very simple words and very simple images and very simple ideas touch this do this go on with your day um, it's 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 powerful in its simplicity um, very gently he scooped those tiny pink animals into the palm of his hand and told me to touch them I just you know it's such a beautiful image and he says at the end I remember the last stanza begins with I remember because he does remember all those years and all those memories that he had of his father this is something that stood out to him because his father stopped paused the day and made sure that um, the son took in everything about this memory I remember how soft they were and my father saying things um, just again a very simple but powerful poem of a son reflecting on his childhood and, and a very important lesson that his father taught him. Um, so, you know, comment on the poem. Let me know what you think. Does this, you know, have you ever had a similar experience? How, what are the memories or the lessons that you have from your childhood, whether they're from a parent or a teacher? Um, what are the lessons that stood with you and why? You know, how were they taught to you in a way that years later, uh, they're still meaningful and still powerful to you. Okay, I'll be back with another video. Maybe I'll be wearing clothes. Maybe I'll be wearing pajamas. I don't know. We'll see. All right, peace out, y'all.